If you're new here, hello. My name is Katie. I live in Orlando. I make three videos a week all about like home decor, any like home inspiration decor tips, anything to do with like Target, Walmart, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Home Goods. If you love stores like that, definitely make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. Today's video is gonna be like a TJ Maxx, Marshalls, probably also Home Goods shop with me. We're just gonna go around, we're gonna hit all three stores, see what goodies they have that are new this week. Things are just always changing there. You can always find different stuff and I do find that each store gets like different brands and different inventory so I always like to show you guys what is new every week at each store just in case I get any questions this is the like cheetah printed sweatshirt that I got at Abercrombie in my last video I'll try to link it for you down below because I feel like a lot of you guys might like this so I'll go ahead and link that for you down below I did get it on clearance so I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to find it but I will do my best but I don't want to blab on I feel like there's gonna be a lot of new fun stuff to see so let's head into the first store which is TJ Maxx and let's see what they have that's new this week I really like these bowls they are glass they're white on the outside but I really just like like the pretty pastel like pink design they have like little teacup saucers oh my gosh and then little plates then they have like other sized bowls does that mean there's teacups somewhere I don't see teacups that go with this but they're bread and butter brand I don't know I just really like the design I feel like that's not something typically I would go for but I think that they're actually really pretty these are really cool too they're bowl sets by Tommy Bahama you get four bowls for $7.99 they are like bamboo so on the outside they are like a smooth white and then the wood on the inside these are super pretty there's literally like so much bride and wedding stuff like all over the store. It's literally everywhere. This is how you know it's the spring. My day in the sun will come, you guys, and it will be a great day. As always, there's a lot of redone. There's not a lot of furniture, which is what I mostly wanted to look at. Also looking for a big, round, black mirror. So we're just kinda, we're perusing today. We're chilling, okay? Every single shape of Ray Dunn birdhouse you could ever imagine. They have it here. Oh my gosh, I love this. <laughs> I love like all the stuff that's like the white paw, which like looks like a white claw. This is Don Rito's Rufus or Ruffus uh, instead of Ruffles. I think that Wyatt definitely needs a little bag of nacho cheese Don Rito's. The Littles love these tiny tennis balls and all of ours are pretty destroyed or gone missing at this point. So I'm gonna pick them up a fresh bag for $2.99. Kong makes these too, but these ones seem really nice and they're a great price. Well, that was short-lived. Randomly, um, the manager who I guess, I don't know, I've never seen her before. I don't really shop at this store too much. Whenever I do TJ Maxx shop with me, it is always at the store, but I don't do them that often. Um, she came up to me and she was like, um, you can't film here but I can give you the number to like media relations. And I was like, no, it's okay, I'll just leave. So <laughs> I just left. I'm not gonna like sit there and like debate it. I mean, I know I film there like all the time or pretty frequently, probably like once every two weeks I film there. So I don't know, I guess I can't anymore, which is fine. There's like plenty of other like home goods, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, no worries. Um, some stores just get weird about it. Like if a guest says something, um, I don't ever try to get anyone else on camera. Some people, like, I'll avoid them as much as possible, but um, if they walk through the back of my shot, normally it's blurred out anyways, but that's fine. I will head to the next store, which is gonna be Marshalls or Home Goods. One of those. I don't know. Hopefully, we have better luck. This has, I've been having a really rough day, honestly. I'm gonna be honest. It's been a really rough day. On that note, let's head to the next store. <laughs> Okay, just drove over here. Don't mind the rain. It is raining so hard. My hair is a mess. It got like totally soaked. 
um, like going in between stores and stuff. But we're gonna head into Marshalls and we are going to just see what they have. I'm really mostly just interested in looking at the furniture. I feel like I'm on like a big furniture hunt. But let's go in there and see what goodies they have for us. They have such pretty like furniture set up. They're still getting lots of outdoor furniture. Ooh, I like this one. That basket is pretty. It's like a banana leaf tree for $60. I like that. Nothing else really over here. A lot of just like super basic like end tables and stuff. And a lot of the same merch we have seen before. Also say hi to my sister, Jackie. <laughs> this is the behind the scenes of what it's like when I film. <laughs> just FaceTime all the time. So yeah, but not really seeing anything else here. I did see a lot of like Easter clearance and stuff still, which is surprising because it's weeks after Easter, but like all of this is on clearance. There's like 50 of these canisters, currently $12. So not that much clearance like sale, but they have so much. This is so cute. There's a ton of really cute stuff. I can't believe they still have all of this left. More wedding stuff. <sighs> That's how you know it's spring, even though it's super rainy and gross outside. Wedding stuff in the stores. Look at this little pajama set. It is covered in like little pineapples. How cute for $16.99. It comes with shorts too. It is by Tabitha Webb. I don't wear cute like sleepwear i literally sleep in like the biggest pants i can find and the biggest t-shirt i can find do you sleep in like cute sleepwear or like the biggest ugliest but comfiest clothes you can find but just let me know do you sleep in like cute sleep clothes let me know down below this literally caught my eye from across the store such a cute beach bag i need it to be bigger it is 24.99 i really really like it but it's too small another cool find this pineapple backpack, but it's actually Vera Bradley, which is so cool. It's like one of those like side, like diagonal across your body backpacks. This is so cute and it is $19.99. Alrighty, saved the best or at least my favorite for last. We're gonna head into Home Goods. I just can't help myself. If there's a Home Goods right next to the Marshalls, like I'm gonna go in. These two are not like attached to two separate stores, which is why I love these two so much because they each like have their own furniture section. Marshalls has its own home decor section. It's not just like how in a Home Goods Marshall combo store, it's like just clothes and stuff. So I, I just can't resist. Like I have to go in and we gotta check it out. Let's go in and see what they have for us at Home Goods. Just walked in and this nightstand immediately caught my attention. It's like a grayish, beigey, whitewash kinda looking nightstand with this like really pretty gold hardware. Oh my gosh, if they have another one of these, these are the ones I think. Oh my gosh, I might have found nightstands. I'm freaking out. Say a prayer that I find another one. I'm so scared I'm not going to. These are kinda cool too. The legs are like so thin with just like one little drawer. These are kind of cool too. These are $70. The first one that I'm looking for, the second one that I found um, was 100. Okay, now I'm bringing out. Look at these nightstands. So I was originally thinking black for our bedroom, like black accents. And it has the cane. I love them. These are $80 a piece. They have three drawers. It's like a little bit damaged right here, but you could put black paint over it easy. Oh my God, with like the brushed gold legs and the black cane. Oh my God, I'm in love. And there's a pair. I still don't know if there's another one of the other one. <laughs> but, oh my God, I'm, I can't believe I'm actually scoring today. So this is what the two different ones look like. There is a double set of these. I don't think there's another one of these, so I would have to look at different home goods until I found the match. Oh my god, I kind of think I like these ones better, but there is a match of these. I don't know what to do. These are cheaper, but that doesn't really matter. Oh, what do I do? My brain is like seriously scrambled eggs right now because I feel like I've been coming to the store so much and like I don't ever find stuff that I like. So like now I just feel like I found a lot of stuff, like all the hard work paid off and like I don't even know what to do with myself. Then I just spotted these which are really, really cool too. They're like whitewashed with like black legs, just like nightstand version of this. Oh my gosh, there's so many options today. Now I just found this set. 
Oh my gosh, they're getting in so much furniture. This is insane. These are really pretty too. The gold is like a really like fake gold color. I think it would look better if you like spray painted it black. But these are really awesome too. And they have like a matching desk. Similar set situation to what we just saw. Okay, I just found this mirror by Max Studio. It doesn't have the dimensions on it. So I'm going to have to ask if they have a tape measure. But it has these like cool beads. Like beading accent. Which I think actually would look really, really cool in our apartment. It's not something I've ever considered. But I think it would look really, really cool. Then I also found this huge one that I thought some of you might like. It's a 32 inch diameter mirror and it has like a marble type frame. Then there's this one that is 100 and it is like a 34 inch mirror, which is huge. They just have a bunch of really cool mirror options. I just found this massive black mirror. This is a 40 inch diameter mirror. Holy moly. This one's really pretty too. It has like a wood frame. It's like an arched mirror made in India. And this one is $69.99. I like how they have like an example of how to use it. That's super pretty. Look at this like all wicker chair. It's a chair and a little footstool. They actually have two of them. So it'd be good for outdoor space. It is $2.50 for the chair and this. It definitely needs a cushion though. That looks super uncomfortable. I'm surprised it doesn't come with one. I think a little white cushion would look really pretty on this. These black baskets are perfect. The small one's awesome. I need more like different sizes and then more ones that incorporate black. So I think I just hit the lottery. These could also work really well for a basket wall. I like how they have different sizes and handles and it's like a good mix of like black, white, and also the brown. I really like this one. I think it's like a good amount of black and white. Good size, tassel on the bottom, $40. I also really like this one. It's a lot more plain, it doesn't have any black in it though. But I like how neutral it is, but it still has a great texture. Then there's also that one, which has a lot more texture, also no black but still a really good size. They're all $40, but I just don't know like if I wanna put black in it or no black. I'm still searching every inch of the store for that other nightstand, but I did find these. These are ones with like doors. I guess maybe they're meant to be like bathroom accent cabinets, but they could definitely be nightstands. Found this like welcome sign. That's a pineapple. That's pretty cute, I like that. There's another one down there that's like a metal one that says welcome with a pineapple. This is like in our little Florida section. I think all the states have these for like their different respective states, but ours is a lot of like cute pineapple stuff. I like this one, this little metal one. It's only $7.99. Look how cute this is. Look at this dog house. It says home. It's just like super rustic looking. It's made out of like hammered metal with a wooden roof and it just says home and it is $130. This is so cool. I've never seen anything like this here. You always see like the cat houses and all this stuff, but this is definitely a fun find. Okay, so now I'm pacing around the store, not knowing what to do, because I really like the gray and gold nightstand. I even put a poll on my Instagram story, so if you wanna be um, included in like polls and stuff like while I'm actually shopping live, definitely make sure you follow me on Instagram. My handle is at Katie Vining. I always post like little previews and things I'm finding at the store that I think you might like, but I really like the gray and gold one, but there's only one. <laughs> so like, do I buy that one and then go to all the home goods around here until I find it? Or I think I might buy the black set and the single gray one. And then that way, if we don't like the black set, I can look for the gray one, but I'll probably still run around today like a maniac looking for the gray one. <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> If you ever wanted a navy diving helmet, look no further. You can get one here at Home Goods for $150. What the heck? I'm looking for some little potted plants that have like a black pot with a plant. I think if I go with the gray nightstands, that will look good because I do want to bring in some black accents. But they don't really have any good plants here. I really couldn't decide, so I bought the black ones and the gray one, and now we're on the hunt. Just pulled up to another home goods, but someone just messaged me on Instagram and said that you can have them scan it up at the front of the store and they can tell you if there's a match. So I don't know how true that is, 
we're gonna definitely go in and find out um but it didn't have like a tag on it it just had like a sticker on the top so i don't really know how i'm gonna do it maybe i could take a picture of the sticker and they can scan it but let's head in and see god you know what's probably about to happen they're probably about to have like something else that i like even more and then i'm gonna have like seven nightstands but i did stop and make some like mood boards while i was sitting here for the nightstands okay so the only thing different in these is the nightstands i really like this one i think it's like a good balance of like the cozy neutrals but also like the big black accent piece that would be like where our tv would go like above it with a um basket wall as well um and then there's the one with the black nightstand which I don't know I feel like I just posted these on Instagram on a poll and I feel like people are gonna pick this one even though when I posted the picture of both the nightstands they chose these ones we'll see they have so much furniture all right the search is on okay I just found this mirror which I like it's like light wood on the side which would go good with the nightstand I can't find <laughs> Um, but it is a hundred dollars. It's 24 by 70, but I like how simple it is. I thought I wanted black, but I don't know. I like this one too. No luck. I do have some cute stuff, but I'm not finding the nightstand that I want. Things are really heating up on Instagram. Now that I showed the mood boards, everyone likes the black nightstands. <laughs> but I still like the gray ones. Mm. Here's another gray nightstand, but this is the only one of those. In an insane turn of events, Jen, one of my amazing subscribers, she lives here in Florida and she was like, I'll go check my home goods and she found it. And they also only had one, so maybe they're only getting one and she got it and we're gonna go meet her right now and then we're gonna head home and kind of see like which one looks the best. And I also like want to style them and stuff too, but I might save that for like a master bedroom shop and decorate with me because you guys really love the living room one. But oh my gosh, okay, let's go meet her now. I'm just like dying to see them next to my bed. And I'm just glad that now like I'll have two of each. So if I end up loving like the beige gray one, I can use those ones and I don't like feel like I can't love them. Potentially looking for a new basket for the dog toys. I would love to get one with a lid, but then they won't be able to get to the toys, which would make me sad. But I do like this one a lot. This one has like a really cool lid and it comes on like a hinge. So that one's super nice. It is $30 and it's like from the Made in Vietnam line. But I also really like these ones, RGI Home. I like this one the most, how like the handle comes out. But it might be a little bit too big. But I don't know, just something I'm considering. These are both $16.99, which is a super good deal. So I really like this set. I'm pretty sure this is like a console table. And then these are two accent tables. No way you could sit there. So they're definitely not stools. Great price though. It's a made in the Philippines set, $99 for the console table and then $50 for the little accent tables. This is really, really pretty. Have not seen this before. Okay, I know the lighting is terrible because it's nighttime. Say hi guys. But I just wanted to show you. So if I pull this away unfortunately the nightstands are just too small so that's this one which i do love the color of and then this is the other one which everyone is now saying looks like a filing cabinet and it's definitely way too skinny for this space but now we know we're gonna go for like a three drawer dresser like something that is a lot wider i like the height of this one though so something like this um, and yeah, so back to the drawing board. So yeah, back to the drawing board. This video took quite the turn, so thank you guys for coming on this journey with me. Like I said, home goods is always an adventure. But yeah, what a turn that took. And now we know what we actually need. We had never put like a nightstand in there, so honestly I wasn't really sure. But now we know, so I know exactly what to shop for, kind of, mostly, I don't know, I'll figure it out. But anyways, throwing it back to Katie here earlier, I filmed a sign off. We'll just send it back to her. She's just like a better, more articulate, put together, less tired version of me. All right, go. Just kidding. Past Katie did not have her life together either. I did not film an outro. I, I totally thought I did. Normally I film like my intro and outro back to back, spoiler alert, to avoid situations like this, but I forgot. 
I well, I went into TJ Maxx and started filming, and then I got told I couldn't film there, and I think I was just totally frazzled from that because that like literally never happens to me. I think I jinxed myself because somebody asked me if it happens to me a lot, and I said it never really does. So I think I jinxed myself. But anyways, that is gonna be it for me today. I really hope that you enjoyed this journey, saga, little adventure that we went on. Definitely let me know down below what you think about like the nightstands and stuff. We are returning them. I still really like them, but they just definitely don't fit the space. But if you love this video, definitely make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you hit the subscribe button down below, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys!